a Vegito fusion is looking more and more like a reality, guys, and more and more like a solution to the problem called Jiren. So, with all the recent spoilers that have come out, everybody's been just talking about Kale and Khalifa fusing. And there's been this big debate in the community amongst fans. Are they going to use the finger fusion, or are they going to use the Vatar fusion? Now, one thing with the finger fusion is it takes a lot of time to use. Whereas with the Batara, it's pretty much immediate. So, you'd think, okay, they're going to use the Batara fusion, right? But Batara's technically should be illegal. It's an item. It has nothing to do with your body, you as a fighter. However, while there isn't exactly a confirmation just yet, it's pretty much inevitable that Potars will be cleared, meaning Zeno in the Grand Prix will allow it in the Tournament of Power. Otherwise, how are we going to see Kale and Khalifa fight, right? Fused, of course. You know, obviously they would be disqualified immediately if they fused and it was illegal. I'm guessing the reason why they're going to be allowed to fuse is simply because Zeno just wants a good fight. I mean, Master Roshi did go about spamming the Mafuba, so I'm not really surprised at all. And the way Toye could explain this, and of course I'm thinking like Toye for a second, is... You know, Zeno just wants to be entertained at the end of the day. He just wants to see a good fight, right? And I could see someone on the Universe 6 bench, someone like Shampa, or maybe even the Universe 6 Saiyans, basically saying, listen, if you want to see the greatest fight, if you want to see Goku really be challenged, or even Jiren, uh, let us fuse. And I think that's when Zeno's going to be like, oh, wow, yeah, I do want to see a good fight. And that's when he's going to allow them to basically fuse, and Potars are now legal in the Tournament of Power. Now, I know some of you are like, Double Four, that's like the, the weakest explanation, that's like the, the, the worst story writing I've ever heard in my life, okay? I don't know, I don't know how Toy is going to go about doing it, I'm just, you know, throwing my prediction out there. But where I get super, super excited is that this legitimately opens up the door to the Vegito fusion, and oh man, our two favorite Saiyans, Goku and Vegeta fusing, they hate doing it but they might just need to do it. There's a recent Dragon Ball Super interview that came out where we got an interview with Toriyama, the man himself, and let me just read you an excerpt from this interview. So, Goku and Vegeta didn't fuse in Toriyama's original draft. Toriyama says that to meet fan expectations, it was therefore necessary to create a situation where they had no choice but to fuse, since their personalities would probably prevent them from ever fusing again after the Boo arc. Toriyama says this was a good idea. So, the fact that we're hearing more and more about fusions, whether it be in the spoilers or, for instance, in these interviews referring back to Vegito fusions in the past, right? Like back during the Future Trunk saga. This gets me feeling like they're trying to set up an atmosphere or they're trying to lay out a groundwork for them to basically drop this fusion on us again. Otherwise, why is this all coming up now? Why are we talking about fusions right now? Obviously, Kale and Khalifa are going to be fusing. We got the Botaras now made legal in the Tournament of Power, most likely. And at the end of the day, does anybody really think Kali and... Sorry, I'm sorry, guys. Kale and Khalifa are going to defeat the likes of Jiren? Absolutely not. If anybody's going to defeat the likes of Jiren, it's going to be two of the strongest characters in the tournament power, and that's Goku and Vegeta, at the very least on our team. Now, why exactly this fusion, and why do I think that they are going to fuse? Because I know some people still don't believe it, and I'm telling you this right now, they're going to fuse. I don't know if they're going to defeat Jiren, but they're definitely going to fuse for a time. It might just be that Jiren bodies them both fused still, right? Or maybe they, you know, exhaust all their energy and stamina and then they defuse because they they don't have enough you know power to actually stay together that could happen as well it could be something very similar to what happened with goku when he used ultra instinct who knows how that fight would have ended up had goku remained in that state he might have even beat jiren but he didn't have enough energy and resources slash stamina to continue going on in that form so ultimately jiren just blasted him away why is a specific transformation going to come about two factors they need the power to defeat Jiren. Recall back to the time when we were fighting Fuse Amasu, Goku and Vegeta Fuse. Not necessarily because they were on the brink of death, but because they were they were so inferior in power to Fuse Amasu, and at the same time, Fuse Amasu was like already kind of getting corrupted by his own power, and he was kind of all messed up. And Gowasu recommended, hey guys, you need this power, why don't you fuse so that you can edge this guy over and disrupt him more? So, you see, one of those things is already in play here. They need the power to defeat Jiren. And I've also made the theory about how, basically, Jiren meditates because of his past, and his past is really messed up, his universe slash home got extinct, etc., etc. I don't know if that, that'll be the case. However, there might be a problem with Jiren. They still need that power. They need that power. And number two, the other factor that comes into play, 
is the same thing, the same factor that came into play way back during the Super Boo fight, and that's just sheer desperation. You think Vegito wasn't scarred for life fusing in that fight with Goku? They did it because they had to do it. This form is created out of desperation. Now, things turned really dominant for those two when they fused together against Super Boo. I don't think the same thing will be in play with Jiren. I don't think they're going to start beating down on Jiren. Maybe this will be enough to bring Jiren down, but it definitely won't be this like one-sided fight once they fuse, because one thing we know for a fact is Jiren is leagues ahead of Goku Super Saiyan Blue, even Kaioken times 20. Vegeta doesn't even have that kind of power, right? So those two, Goku and Vegeta, are much closer in power level to some of the other fighters in the tournament, and themselves, of course, than Jiren. Jiren is leagues, and I mean leagues, ahead of any other mortal. He is much closer to the angels and the other gods in power level than to any mortal we've seen up until now in the story. Now, how is this all going to be set up, this desperate situation where the Batara lands in Goku's hand? I don't know exactly, but they're going to need that power against Jiren, and what they might do to show the contrast in power between Jiren and everybody else is once Khalifla and Kale fuse, they might end up disrupting Jiren's meditation, because in the same way that Kale loses control in Berserker State, maybe once they fuse, it'll be something similar to like with the, the Fuse Amasu thing, where it just starts corrupting them, right? It's like too much power to handle for these guys. And eventually, Jiren just decides to, like, knock them both out, and he starts power impacting them back to back to back. Now, I don't know if that's what they'll decide to do, but how epic would it be if Jiren just crushes them both fused, and because they've been developing this relationship between Goku, Khalifa, and Kale, as well as Vegeta and Kaba, you know, the relationship between Universe 6 Saiyans and Universe 7 Saiyans, almost like this master-student relationship thing, because they're developing this bond, Either Khalifa and Kale fuse, they'll defuse and they'll like toss the Botara to Goku, or maybe Goku will snatch it at the end just to like ensure that he will avenge them. Maybe Vegeta will do the same thing. Something like that is a possibility. I could see them making this very dramatic and laying the groundwork for this desperate situation, showing just the difference in power between the Saiyans and Jiren. And if they don't take the dramatic route, they could always approach this from an entirely different angle. Like, maybe everybody influences Goku, and I'm talking Beerus, and everybody else in his camp, like Goku, you two need to fuse you and Vegeta, and maybe Khalifa and Kale, they defuse, they're all messed up there, they, they can't fight any longer. Goku's like, pass me the Botara, and I'll show you how this transformation's really done. What a real fusion looks like. What a, what a fusion between two real Saiyans looks like. And one thing we know about Khalifa, and this would be very consistent. All she really cares about is power. She would be delighted to hand Goku over the Batara as long as Goku promises to cause a spectacle and to really just showcase some sheer Saiyan might and maybe Goku could even promise to show them how to fuse or, or show them how to fight in that form. I don't know. Again guys, one thing we, we know about Khalifa is she is just like in awe. She's just inspired anytime she sees Goku transform and of course, you know, a Batara fusion between Goku and Vegeta is like nothing else. Obviously, the Universe 6 Saiyans, they cannot replicate that. Now, I know what some of you guys are going to be asking. Will this be enough? Will Vegito be enough in this fight, right? And is it a possibility that we will see an Ultra Instinct Vegito? Now, we know for certain that you can transform once you fuse. Of course, everybody knows this. You can go Super Saiyan, go Super Saiyan Blue. Otherwise, we wouldn't have seen Vegito Blue. We wouldn't have seen all the other transformations we've seen outside of just the normal fusion, the black-haired base form fusion, you know, we saw for the first time. How powerful are they right now? We don't know, but one thing is a fact. They are more powerful than they were when they fused against Fuse Amasu, because Goku and Vegeta both individually got stronger, right? Now, how powerful were they when they fused against Fuse Amasu? Well, basically, it was stated in Dragon Ball Super that he was not strong enough to defeat Beerus in this form. In the manga version, however, Super Saiyan Blue Vegito, according to Shin, already seemed to be greater than Beerus's power level. Now, to be honest with you guys, I don't know if we should go with the anime version, with the manga version, I'm going to say this right now. Vegito right now, probably, is going to be somewhere near Beerus's level, somewhere near that God of Destruction level. Now, what do we know about Jiren? His power is pretty close 
is not confirmed stronger than Vermouth slash Belmont in the anime, while he is confirmed stronger than him in the manga. However, it is safe to say that Jiren is close to the God of Destruction's level in his universe, and one thing we know about Belmont and Beerus is they're probably pretty close in power level, right? We saw the Gods of Destruction's fighting, and by the end of the fight, Vermouth slash Belmont didn't really take any damage whatsoever, whereas all the other gods were, like, really sweating and really, like, they sustained a lot more damage, of course. So, I don't think that the manga and the anime are going to be that drastically different. I think Vegito is going to be somewhere near Jiren's level. Now, what if them fusing is not enough, even with Kaio Ken stacked on top? That is entirely a possibility, right? Now a lot of you guys are asking, what about Ultra Instinct? Can you combine Ultra Instinct with the Vegito fusion, even though Vegeta himself has never reached Ultra Instinct, even though Goku himself has not actually mastered that form? It is a possibility out of sheer luck in the same way that Goku attained Ultra Instinct that Vegito, those two fused together could, if the circumstances present themselves, if, you know, the, the fused two together are just depleted of energy and then there's a spirit bomb that's absorbed, something very similar to what happened to Goku alone. But don't count on it, guys, and the reason I say that is because even in the recent episode, we stated that there's no way Goku would easily attain this form, right? And the fact that we stated that just gets me feeling as if, listen, man, if they're going to introduce this fusion, if those two are actually going to fuse together, it's most likely as an excuse not to see Ultra Instinct again. Yeah, I think an Ultra Instinct Vegito would slap Jiren around. I'm not even gonna lie about that. I think Jiren would be owned. He would be dominated, bro. And for that reason, I don't think we're actually going to see Ultra Instinct Vegito. However, tell me what you guys think. I know my homie King Sky 5 would rather see the Gogeta fusion. Me, honestly, I prefer the Vegito fusion. It's the more legit fusion to me.